saving the result to S3 AWS using a Node.js server. Web application to scrape website. In this video, we learn how to build a web application to scrape a website, then save the result online using a Node server and Amazon storage service. The end result will be a web application using a user interface to send requests to a server such as start scraping, save and read data from a JSON file located on an Amazon storage service. Here is my plan. I will start by explaining the global architecture. Then I will walk you through the script that I made for this section. And finally, I will run the script and check the result. Amazon S3. According to the website, Amazon Simple Storage Service or S3 is storage for the internet. It is designed to make web scale computing easier for developers. Well, in our case, I will use it to save and read a JSON file that has the scraping result. Here I am on my Amazon account. I set up a bucket scraping folder S3 where I create an empty file called scraping result S3.json. In this file, I will save and read the scraping result. Here is the global architecture. The user interface or the client side page has three buttons to send the request to the server. The requests are to start scraping, write the result into an S3 file, and read the result from the same S3 file. In this video, I scrape the same web page as the previous section. The web page is Amazon.com and the keyword is bulb. The server scrapes the web page, then writes and reads the result into an S3 file, in our case, the JSON file. The user interface is built using jQuery. But of course, you are free to use any other technology that you're familiar with or you like it. The server side is built using most popular package Express.js and I'm using Cherio for scraping. The same technology we saw in the previous section. 